So guys, I wanted to do a quick video for you just showing the differences between an STM lens and a non-STM lens. You know, a lot of the videos I've been doing in the past, you guys can hear there's a little clicking sound and I've been covering it up with, you know, some background music. I did a little research and saw um, that the lens I'm using is more for pictures and not really for video. So the thing I found out was if you really want to use your Canon camera, currently I'm using a Canon 70D, that's what this is being shot on, you're going to need a lens that has STM. Basically what this is, is this is a motor that will autofocus and make it a lot quieter. So one of the things I wanted to do for you guys was just to show you a comparison of what it sounds like with the non-STM versus the STM. So right now the one that I'm shooting with is the Canon EFS 17 to 55 millimeter. What I'm going to do right now is I'll basically try to get this thing to focus and you'll hear the clicking sound with it right now. So as you guys can hear, it just does that really annoying sound. And anytime you're recording anything, you're outside, that clicking sound is just always there. Um, so yeah, right now this is the, what's on the lens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swap it out. Uh, what I'm going to be putting on it is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter. And then the, mo the important part is the STM. Um, it's my first time opening it. So I'll kind of do a little bit of an unboxing here for you guys too. Just off the bat, warranty card. Paperwork you don't really need. Uh, looks like comes with a little instructions. And again, you guys can hear the sound that that lens makes. Um, There we go. There's the lens. So I'll pop it off for you guys. You can listen to STM versus non-STM. Twelve seconds later. The setup is exactly the same as it was before. The only difference I've done is I've swapped it out for the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter STM. Uh, the distance is the same. I haven't changed the zoom. Um, so everything being equal, I'm gonna do the same thing where I take this box and you guys can try to listen to see if there's any sounds with the motor. Yeah, from where I am right now, I can't hear it at all. Um, so it seems to be a lot better for video. Cool. Yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, I know for me, it was really annoying to have the non-STM. I thought I could bear with it for a little bit, but yeah, if you're gonna be using the Canon um, or any kind of DSLR, it definitely makes sense to go with the STM. Again, I'm using the Canon 70D, great for video. If you guys like the video, feel free to subscribe. My channel's kind of all over the place, reviewing all sorts of different things that I like or things that I'm um, curious about myself. So yeah, go ahead and if you want to like the video, subscribe. And I hope you guys found this video useful.